Mary McAllister Bold and C. Mark Bold have been active in many organizations in their San Francisco community, including the San Francisco Food Bank, Feeding America, several arts organizations, and the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Both have been active in and held office for their neighborhood associations. Services, giving something of yourself, and it can be it can be money, it's great if it's money and you have money because for a lot of organizations and a lot of causes that's the thing they can use most and they can put to use in the way they they need it most but there are also a lot of people that need service, people that need things from us. You give to some place where you're going to understand something beyond yourself. Uh, you give to, because you want to be able to grow, you want to be able to expand your understanding of things that may not have been part of the process of success, process of your earlier life. Mary was raised in Logan, the daughter of parents long affiliated with Utah State University. Her father, Devere McAllister, attended USU as an undergraduate and returned later to serve as professor of agronomy. Her mother, Isla, typed graduate theses for years, serving later as the secretary for the vice president of finance for several years. Mary graduated from Utah State in 1969 with a bachelor's degree in economics and later received an MBA from UC Berkeley. When I was at Utah State, I was the only female economics student in my graduating class. And yet my teachers never made me feel like that was any problem or that I could do less or have less chance of success uh, as a female. Uh, when I graduated and I came to San Francisco, I found it was a little bit different because the primary um, source of employment for economics graduates was the banks and the banks really didn't have any interest in speaking to a female at that time. Mary is president and founder of Inline Plans Incorporated, a San Francisco consulting business started in 1982 to assist business owners with the setup and administration of retirement plans for their employees. She has been privileged to work with many entrepreneurs and investment professionals over the years. She has also served on the National Advisory Board for USU's Huntsman School of Business for many years. My experience in with the Business Advisory Council, I found out that there's people in upper echelons of many businesses that are Utah State graduates. Mark was raised in the Chicago area and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree from Washington and Lee in Virginia. What you're going to get out of these four years are going to be what makes you for the rest of your life. And if you don't take advantage of it when you're in college, when you have the opportunity to mix and match and, 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 and try a lot of different things, the chances are you won't have the opportunity, maybe until retirement. Mark pursued several career paths until settling with the securities industry in 1978. From 1982 to 1998, Mark worked for Sage Clearing Corporation, a leading market options clearing firm that became a subsidiary of ABN AMRO in 1998. He then served as Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of ABN AMRO Sage Corporation. From 2002 to 2005, he served as President and Chief Operating Officer of Preferred Trade Incorporated an independent self-clearing broker-dealer with memberships on all U.S. exchanges. Preferred Trade was reorganized into FEMAT Preferred, where Mark managed the operation expansion of its business. Too often people take what they're told, and in the securities business that can be disastrous. You have to have that honest sense of doubt with yourself and also with what's happening out there, so that you can always sort of self-correct and move forward and kind of improve and enhance the process. Mark is currently a senior advisor with Engman Options Incorporated, a securities industry advisory and consulting group specializing in securities regulation and operations. He has been the past chairman of the Pacific Exchange's Ethics and Business Conduct Committee and a past member of the Options Clearing Corporation Operations Roundtable and past chairman of the Western Financial Services Association. Mary and Mark have a daughter, Carol, who is a painter and lives in St. George, Utah. 
They are regular donors to the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley and Washington and Lee. Mark particularly enjoys gardening and is planning a personal vineyard in St. George. Both love art and travel and continue to plan and enjoy international travel. For their long-term commitment to their community, the Utah State University Alumni Association is pleased to present Mary and Mark Bold with its Distinguished Service Award.